Hey everyone, welcome to this remote edition of Sports Unlimited. I'm Morgan Adsit alongside Rocco DeSangro. We are live in Owings Mills. Day one of Ravens training camp has wrapped up. And as John Harbaugh said afterwards, it was a good day. Morgan, it's always great to be out here for us, for the players, and we kind of expected to see what we saw out there on the field. It's, it's a revamp period. It's a slow period revamping for these guys because some of them have been away from football for a month. Some have worked out. Some have been up to other things, just trying to get away from the game and kind of clocking out for a little bit. But for guys like Odell Beckham Jr., something to prove, this was big for them and they're fired up. Oh, and it was big for the fans and Odell Beckham Jr. Lamar Jackson's got some competition in the fandom <laughs> who loves loud cheers. We can't hear and think and do our job because the no. fans are so loud competition obj stole the show and that's kind of why he's here i mean he's here to hopefully be a version of his old self and to catch footballs score touchdowns and to get the fans excited about the team yeah he's one of the biggest names in the sport but the guy that really stole the show on day one that's another wide receiver that is rookie zay flowers he was a standout and he was as advertised for the first round pick this is a guy the ravens had on their board uh, as the top wide receiver at that point in time he's a big yak guy yards after the catch making catches in traffic he made a great one towards the sideline one up and got it so for zay flowers Flowers, I mean, he's going to be a beast out there, and he's already got a nickname from QB1, Lamar Jackson. Zay, his new name is Joystick because how he be moving out there so swift and making stuff happen. His new name is Joystick. We're going to call him Joystick, not Zay. He definitely has that South Florida route running, breaking, cutting, that Mari Cooper, Calvin Ridley, Jerry Judy. He has that, that X factor um, that a lot of those South Florida guys have, so, you know, you know, we had one of those guys in, in Hollywood and, you know, at Zay. Um, I'm really, I think the sky's the limit for our receiving core. Unfortunately, though, sometimes with training camp and practices, it's sometimes about who's not out there. The yeah. Ravens have seven injured players, depending on what list they're on. One of those is running back J.K. Dobbins. He's on the physically unable to perform list. I asked John Harbaugh specifically if this is knee related mm -hmm. and kind of what's going on. He didn't touch any anatomy as far as any injury. <laughs> he just said this is a complex issue. So you have to wonder about some of the offseason tweets, about contract talk, what's going on with J.K. and when we're going to see him on the field. And they're, of course, hoping to get him back out there. But this wraps it up from day one of training camp in Owings Mills. For Morgan Adson, I'm Rocco DeSangro. We'll have much more tonight on Sports Unlimited.